Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Now, one thing we can all agree upon, one of the most frustrating aspects <laughs> of, of load shedding, we all hate it. It's not that it's happening so much, yeah. but like you never know when it's going to about to strike, you know? And despite the fact that you usually are warned when the grid is under strain, having to check those schedules every single time can be a bit of a pain. And uh, if your suburb is the first one to get hit, you'll most likely already be in the dark by the time you get that warning, yeah. right? So uh, a number of mobile apps and alert services have come to light, and we've uh, put together a list of what you might consider to use as a useful little tool to help yeah. you get around uh, and all very useful indeed. I mean, we're all relying on them now because our work is so reliant on knowing yeah. exactly when it's going, um, when the power is going out. So the first one we're going to look at is Escom's Sapush or Escom's ePush, however you choose to say it. Now, one of the highest rated load shedding apps out there, available on both iOS and Android. And uh, it uh, covers some 50,000 suburbs wow. in the country, including all of the big municipalities and all direct customers of ESCOM. So this is how yeah. it works. It notifies you through messages on your smartphone of when you can expect load shedding in your selected areas. Mm -hmm. I think what we liked about this the most provides a countdown in hours and minutes until switch off. That's cool. can make you a little bit nervous, but it does really help you get through <laughs> your day. Um, but it also offers you a three-day forecast of the risk of power cups. And the, the forecast comes from combining ESCOM systems bulletins with a few of the, the site's own methods methods for detection of grid health. Yeah. And it also has a cell phone flashlight that switches on when you click the logo on the app's about screen if you need light when the power goes off. So very much a new generation app. Yeah. Um, amazing to see. I wonder um, if it goes, eh, run, run. Yeah. But also <laughs> available on both iOS and Android uh, is, of course, uh, a new app that is called Load Shed, right? And um, it's, it covers a lot of the cities, in fact, uh, about 85% of the country. And how it works is that you get a notification when load shading will take, will take place, and then, of course, the stage that is, uh, that is about to take place in your uh, own suburb as well. But what we like about it is that it's a real-time monitoring of important sources of load shedding updates. Uh, you can add multiple suburbs to your watch list, so you can actually have a bit of a filter if you yeah. like. Uh, it's user-friendly design, very, very fast and easy to use, which is exactly what you want. Yeah, I've actually been using it, and it does help yeah. a, a huge amount. Then um, third, we've got GridWatch, which is only available on Android. It supports 126 municipalities, so mm -hmm. it really does cost a, a wide net. You get a notification if there is load shedding scheduled for the day, when load shedding has started, and a 30 minute notification before your area is due to be hit. Um, what we liked about this one, you can customize the app for all of your important areas for home, work, school, uh, gym, etc. You can also browse advanced schedules for the upcoming week so you can plan hmm. your life around possible outages. As you're saying, the frustration is not knowing yeah. when it's going to hit. You can sign up for the alerts for each schedule and receive notifications <laughs> in advance as to when load shedding will affect you next. So I think ultimately what we're saying is there is recourse. There is something that can give you the power back and yeah. these apps really are helpful. There's no need to stay in the dark, man. Just get mm. one of these apps and, you know, plan your week around it. Plan your week around it. We'll survive, South Africa. We're going to be okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. But anyway, right now let's find out about a brand new technology that is causing quite a lot of excitement. In fact, taking us back to the future.